Yo guys, what is good? Assy once again with another installment of Quick Cuts. Today we're playing with FC Garth. Let's get into it. FC Garth is the faded light defender with a physical attack type. Skills Passives Protect 3 She has health with the lowest max HP LA and heals their health by 30% of Garth's current health at the beginning of a round. Gains 1 mana if the target is above 70% HP. Breath of Mana. Provides the front row with one permanent mana. Command. Grants all allies with less health than Garth the command mark and increases defense and health by 20%. Barrier of Will. Triggers when 70% or more damage is received with one hit. For two turns, FC Garth's defense will be increased by 50% and afterward increases damage received by 30% for three turns. S1. Deals 187% damage to one enemy. Additionally, curses the enemy for 6 turns, dealing 49% damage per turn. S2 deals 420% damage to the back row enemies. Here in stats. My Garf has a full blue set, increasing his block by 390. Additionally, he will gain 1200 health. All gear is faded at 40. Your main priorities should be defense, block and as much speed as you can get. Any additional block defense rate is welcome. We will take FC Garf into PvP, paired with FC Degas and FC Vela in the front. The back row will consist of FC Rera and FC Annie. This is more an experimental team, trying to benefit from the less attack, stuns and massive damage output. Share health and protect will work well together I think. It's a very balanced team, but not tested much. Let's go over strengths and weaknesses. Strengths Garf has one of the best passives. Increasing your defense and health in all areas of the game with a very reasonable condition. Basically, your damage dealers will always receive this buff. Unlike other passives, it's not limited by a number but simply by the HP amount. This makes Garf viable in all areas of the game. FC Garf additionally has the Unbreaking Will passive which makes him really tanky. If you can pair him up with a healer or somebody who can take the heat from him, you can keep him on the battlefield for a long time. Command marks also have great interactions with Rudley and Velar, making them even more viable when paired up. Weaknesses It's very hard to find weaknesses for FC Garf. The FC fixes the low HP issue regular Garf had, giving him a whopping 1064 HP. I looked hard, but FC Garf might actually be a hero with no particular weaknesses. If you would really have to name something, it might be that he is the light element, but since he provides mana to the front row and is light, he always gains 2 mana while his allies are alive. Conclusion FC Garf is a real champ. Regardless of place, she will provide your team with lots of benefits. Be it in dungeons, especially light and dark days, where she grants naturally weak mana gainers with additional mana. The added health and defense are always great, making her a must pick in dragons. FC Garf's animations are top notch, and I can bring her into any content and be happy with her performance. If you got lucky like me and pulled her, definitely make sure to gear her up and bring her everywhere. She will make content so much easier and enjoyable. And that's already it. If you like my content, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments which hero you want to see featured next. As always, it was a pleasure to have you here. I will see you in the next one and until then, enjoy the grind.